Yeah, that's right, but things are slowly getting back to normal. You can see kids behind me playing, enjoying their summer like they should. But right across the street in this building, there's other families out there who have no place to go. It, it's dead. It's gone. There's, it's completely structurally unsafe. It's a waiting game for the Munstock family. Their home is a complete loss after the 7.1 magnitude earthquake. It felt like we were on the middle of a roller coaster. In the middle of like a merry-go-round where it's, it's spinning really fast. Their story is one of many. In fact, days after the quakes hit, there are still dozens of people staying at the Red Cross, many of them with nowhere to go. I just haven't let it affect me yet. Wow. At some point, I'm going to have a screaming breakdown, and hopefully I can get as much stuff and paperwork done as I need to do before it hits. A few miles down the road at China Lake Naval Station, more unknowns. The base was evacuated Saturday, and access has been restricted to mission essential personnel only. We took a tour of the commissary where much of the ceiling was missing, and shelves were emptied of food and products that had been thrown about. Workers were busy cleaning up glass, debris, and damaged products from the commissary's aisles. The base's chapel was also heavily damaged. The earthquake left a gaping hole in one of the steeple walls, and an altar was destroyed. It is a place where so many things have happened, weddings, funerals, baptisms, um, all kinds of things. So they have a deep-seated uh, connection with this chapel. So any time this chapel is uh, not in operation, it is a, um, oh, maybe a distress, a little bit of distress. And there's a community resource meeting scheduled for tomorrow to help these people get back on their feet. Reporting live from Ridgecrest, I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News.